from a style point of view, we're seeing a lot more of this haircut coming, coming into the, into the barbershop or into the salon. Traditionally, this was the domain of a ladies' hairdresser or a salon hairdresser, but we're getting guys who want to hang out in the barbershop now. Barbering, uh, you know, is taking such an upsurge in, in popularity that guys want to be in the want to be in the barbershop. Want to, and this is why we're doing these uh, these haircuts. We're showing barbers generally they're quite weak on these types of haircuts. So when we're actually working with these haircuts. And what we're going to do is, is bring this through. We're going to cut just a very slight length off there. But what's happening in, in, in the industry at the moment, not particularly, you know, I'm not saying that these, these haircuts are, are your main stay. You're not, you're not actually taking clients with, with hair this length all the time. But we are seeing a lot of disconnection now. We're seeing a lot of longer tops, textured tops. When we're looking at, the, at the, this kind of area, we're taking through. And what you've got to remember is here, Brian likes to keep the length on top because he likes to push this back, but he likes it to drop very slightly. So what, again, we're just taking the thickness out of the middle or the interior of the haircut. If you want to over direct, if we were taking this, this haircut, if he was wearing it going over to one side, you know, like this, and he was wearing it onto his face, we could really chop into this, hair, in, into this fringe area here and personalize it. But we don't want that too much out of that haircut now, out of that section. Okay. If we wanted to, we can take, we can be point thinning if we want to take it through the haircut. Another technique is actually running through here. Obviously it won't hurt the client's scalp because we've got a guard that's covering the blade. And this is the, you know, one of the great reasons I use this system because it's quite safe for the client and for you know, the stylist or the barber. You see what we're taking off? So what we're almost doing is channel cutting there. You know, if we, if we were using this on, a, on a, a, a lot shorter client, you know, we were do, creating a lot of texture. We could, we could get right in there and form scaffolding. So we'd be right in and taking it down in, in this shorter area. If we were looking at, you know, length like this or even shorter, it's very adaptable. You can use this system on very short hair, and very long hair, but because things are going a bit longer at the moment, we thought we'd show you on this particular client. If you have to reapply, you need some more water on there. Pure lubrication for the, for the razor. If you try and do this on, on dry hair, what would be happening is your client would be really, really uncomfortable. So what we're doing now, we're just going to revisit the nape area. 